السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Commercial Subjects Group Level 2 Communication Skills Chapter 5 Stages of Conducting a Beating By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Discuss the arrangement before the meeting Explain how to conduct during the meeting And finally, list the stages after the meeting Let's start with an engaging starters. Imagine that your older brother graduated from university by master degree. Your father asked you to arrange a party for him next week, inviting all your family and your brother's friends. What arrangement you will do for your brother's party? As we know, any party you're gonna do gonna passes through stages. It's going to be something you're going to do before before the party, during the party, and after the party. So before the party, you must know how many persons you're going to invite, the place that you're going to do the, the party and and about the buffet. During the party, you're gonna welcome the visitors, or you're gonna welcome the people who came, and you're gonna check everything that is going fine. And after the party, you're gonna thank them for their coming, and you can give them simple gifts, or as we call, a giveaway. Let's start with our first objective, stages of conducting a meeting. As we have mentioned previously, the party passes through stages. Even the meeting, it passes through three stages. Something gonna be done before the meeting, and issues gonna be done during the meeting, and after the meeting. We're gonna start with before the meeting. Let's see what we're gonna do before the meeting. First of all, we must know the objectives, the participants, the time, place, notice, agenda, and the final preparation. Now I'm gonna explain them in details. Determining the purpose of the meeting, or as we have mentioned previously, the objective. We must know the, meet, the purpose of this meeting, why I'm gonna do this meeting, so that I can choose the best type of meeting as we have mentioned in our previous lesson. Either it's gonna be formal meeting, or informal or electronic meeting. Then gonna select the participant. If our meeting is related about the budgeting, for example, so all the participants who are gonna add value, only those attenders will add value, we gonna invite them to this meeting. And the chairman, he must know the participant, at least their name and their job title and from which department. Then choosing the time. Choosing the time is very important. I must choose the time that best suits the chairman and the participants. Selecting the place. When I'm gonna select the place, there are many things that I have to put in my mind. First of all, availability of the room. Now let's say for example, I want conference room number two at 10 o'clock. Before I send the notice, I must make sure if this room is available at that time or no. Appropriate size of the room. If the participants are 50, the room must fit to these number of people. Appropriate furniture. I must make sure that the chairs are key, they're not damaged, for example. Then, suitable lights and ventilation. The place, the light must be okay. The ventilation, I mean with the ventilation, the air conditioner or the AC, okay? I mean, the ventilation must be good at that place. And make sure that the place is free from noise because we're gonna have meeting, we're gonna discuss, we don't want anyone to interrupt us. Most of the companies, they keep the meeting room at the end of the company, away from the reception area so that there will be no noise. And then finally, I must make sure from the cost. Here we me by the cost for the people, if we have someone who's gonna come from outside Bahrain, we must reserve, we'll look for the accommodation 
and for the flight. Also making the final preparation. Now today is the meeting before so that everything make sure that everything is going fine. I must follow these points. I have to arrive before the meeting. Let's say for example, the meeting at 10 must be there, must be there at least at 9.30. Make sure the audiovisual equipment works properly. If I'm gonna need a laptop or a data show, I must make sure that they are working. Make sure all materials ready. When I go, I must make sure that all the, if I need any stationery, papers, pens, they are ready on the meeting table. Then finally, remind the participants on the day, time, and place of a meeting. Yes, we've sent them a notice, but also we must remind them at least one day before by sending an email telling them, reminding them about the meeting date that will be held tomorrow, for example. During the meeting, now we are in the meeting. There's also things we're gonna be done during the meeting. First of all, greeting participants. The manager or the chairman will welcome the participants. Then, last meeting matters. As we have said previously, they're gonna discuss what have they taken in the previous meeting and what actions have been done. Number three, direct the meeting. Here, they're going to start with today's meeting. Discuss today's point. And number four, final comments. In the final comments, now during the meeting, if they discussed any points, maybe some points need voting. So here, the chairman will announce for a vote. Last point is closing the meeting. He will thank them for their coming and for the meeting and going to announce the time and place of the next meeting if they need any meeting. The last point is after the meeting. Now the meeting is done. There's some points or some things that will be done between the chairman and the secretary. The chairman, the secretary, they're going to check the notes. While the chairman was discussing with the members, the secretary was sitting next to him and note, noting down what the manager or chairman is saying. That we call it the notes. After that, they should gonna write the minutes and distribute it on the participants or the members that came to the meeting. Number three, follow up. The chairman will follow up with the participants regarding if there were any action they've taken or no. And finally, they're gonna evaluate the meeting. Some of the companies, they send like a form for the participant to evaluate the meeting. Now I'm gonna move on to the questions. Question one, when selecting the place of the meeting, make sure that there is A, stationary items, B, an agenda, C, a notice sent to participants, D, adequate light and ventilation? The answer is D, adequate light and ventilation. Question two, meeting must start precisely on time and participant must A, arrive after the meeting, B, pay attention, C, disturb the chair, D, go to the work on time. The answer is B, pay attention. Question three, the chair should send out the notice of meeting in good time, true or false? The answer is true. Question four, during the meeting, make sure the chairman is writing notes of the meeting, true or false? The answer is false. Not the chairman, it must be the security. Last question is, when closing the meeting, inform the participants the time, place, and objectives of the next meeting, true or false? The answer is true. Thank you for listening and you can follow this lesson on the website of Minister Education and on the EduNet. Wish you all the best.